Well, it's that time of the year. Our 2021 sprint car season is starting to wind down. Unfortunately, I can count on one hand how many nights we have left at the track. But with that, the off season will be here in just a couple of weeks. So it's almost time to start preparing equipment for 2022, spending quite a few nights in the shop and just trying to put our plan in place to move forward and get ready for next season. But welcome back to today's video. If you guys are new here, my name is Tanner Holmes and I'm an 18 year old 410 and 360 sprint car driver from Southern Oregon. My passion is racing. I love to go in circles. I started racing back in 2008 at the age of five years old. And ever since it's been my dream to climb through the ranks. And for the last five years specifically, I've been posting right here on my YouTube channel to bring you guys along with me for my journey. It's been so much fun. It's a dream come true to get to do what we do. And it's now time to talk about where we're gonna be racing this weekend. So this weekend we are headed four hours south to the Silver Dollar Speedway to compete in the 2021 Fall Nationals Friday and Saturday, two separate shows. They're expecting, I think, anywhere from 50 to 60 360 sprint cars. Now, I've spent a bunch of time in the Chico, California area, Northern California area in general, racing my outlaw cart, but I haven't been down there with my sprint car yet. Now, the Silver Dollar Speedway happens to be one of the closest dirt tracks to my house. Our schedules just never aligned. We were able to make one of their big 410 or 360 shows. So since we are going racing this weekend, it is time to get the car ready. And we started all of that on Tuesday. Tuesday night where my dad and I spent some time in the shop and the first thing we had to do was to pull the 410 out and put the 360 in. So you guys have seen us do this process multiple times of pulling an engine out and dropping another one in. Sometimes it's more chaotic when it's at the track. It's much nicer in the shop when you just have all the time to do things right. So right now, just got the engine strap on. Uh, we pulled the radiator you saw and then also we have to get the six bolts that are in the driver's side of the motor plate. We have to loosen those and pull them out. And then we just gotta hoist the engine up in the air. As usual, gotta be super careful that you don't hit it on either side. You try to just leave enough room. And with two people, it makes the job much easier. It's a lot more difficult with just one. Now, once we get the engine out, we put it on a stand. So then it's easy to push around in the shop. So once we get that all taken care of, it's time to take care of the grease and the grit on the motor plate. This is your only chance to clean any of this because you can only get to it when the engine is out of the race car. So use a little bit of brake clean and some rags and that seems to do the job. So after we do a little bit of cleaning, you're gonna see my dad tightening the U-joint on the 360. Now it's important to get these as tight as possible. That's why you're gonna see me with the torque wrench and then my dad has one of the extensions so he can hold it so it doesn't spin. And we just try to double, triple tighten those to make sure that they're on there as best as possible. So we finished tightening the U-joint and one last step before we put it back in the car. I like to put a little bit of red line grease in the U-joint just so when it slides into the drive shaft, that seems to help. Then you also see Carly pop in here since she was in the shop and she helps us get it all lined up. An extra hand is always beneficial. So we get it in the race car and then it's time just to start tightening stuff down. We put our six bolts in the back, our two in the front with the eccentrics and just make sure to get them all in place before we start tightening it up. Then we put the radiator in. While I'm doing that, dad is working on hooking up some of the other lines and here's just kind of an updated look at our progress. It happened a lot faster on the video than it did, uh, you know, in real time. So one of the final steps of this whole process is to fill up the radiator. Now, before we actually put water in, we like to put this Lucas Oil Super Coolant, which helps the engine run cooler and also helps with any corrosion or rust from the water being inside the radiator. So I put a full bottle of that in, then I fill up my big, my big red bucket and try not to spill all over the shop floor. So that was a little like a routine pit stop. Dad and I are getting pretty good at the whole engine swap thing. So we had the 410 in that we ran with the World of Outlaws on Labor Day weekend. We pulled that out and now we got our 360 in to go racing this weekend. And as I mentioned, it's all a process. A lot of people always ask me like, how long does it take to swap engines? And with a really good crew of three or four people, like the World of Outlaw teams, the all-star teams, I mean, heck, we've seen them doing it in like 10 minutes. I've seen guys blow up in hot laps and make it back out for qualifying. Now, like I said, you have to have people that really know what you're doing. Our crew, actually about two seasons ago in 2019, we swapped an engine at the racetrack in just under 20 minutes. And it was an absolute zoo in our pit area, but that is our record time. But just 
just dad and I, and then a little bit of help from Carly there for a couple of minutes. We we're able to pull the 410 out, and now we have the 360 in. Got all of our lines hooked up. We have the radiator, throttle linkage is all ready to go. We are putting these headers on the car next. And since we are heading to California, these are the mufflers that we have to run. They're called Flowmasters. Very big and they make the cars super quiet. And one more thing to touch on, I always like to mention, when we have this much time in the shop, we always make sure to do things right and double and triple check ourselves. There's no sense to rush this process. As I mentioned, if you're at the track and something happens and you're trying to make it out for an A or a B or a heat race, I get going through it quickly. But in a situation like this, we just gotta go slow, check off every single box and make sure we get the job done right. <laughs> Was changing gears I noticed that the gasket for where the rear end cover slides on it broke at the top not a huge deal by any means this thing was actually probably really worn out I think it's been a while since we changed it so that is going in the trash now luckily we had a brand new one sitting over there on the workbench so we just grabbed that slid it on and then we were able to finish our process of changing gears now one question I do get asked a lot, Tanner, when you go to new racetracks, how do you know what gear to run? Are you guessing, are you asking around? Option B would be the correct answer. So usually we just ask around and try to get a general idea of what everyone is running. And in this situation, it's even easier because I have a ton of friends in the California area that have ran every single track. So if I need something, I can just text or call one of them and then usually they'll give me the proper information. So I at least have an idea of where we should start and then we can go from there. But our gears, those are changed, and then I also added rear end oil. But it is currently 8.14 right now, so I'm gonna head up and eat dinner. My dad and I worked for about three, three and a half hours in the shop tonight and made a ton of progress on the 18T. I would say we're definitely over 50% ready to go racing this weekend. We probably have another two to three hours in the shop tomorrow. A little bit on the car. Most of our projects on this thing are done. A lot of my work tomorrow is gonna be dismounting and mounting tires. And all you dirt racers know watching that tires can be one of the most fun and glorious jobs in the game. I say that very sarcastically, but we'll see. Sometimes it's an easy job. Sometimes it takes a little bit more time, but it's all a part of sprint car racing. So that's a little bit what's on the agenda for tomorrow. Tonight's work though is 100% complete. Like I said, we just got to finish and wrap everything up tomorrow, get everything loaded Thursday, and then start heading south either Thursday night or Friday morning for the Friday and Saturday show down at the Silver Dollar Speedway this weekend for the 2021 Fall Nationals. So that was the first half of the work that needs to be done in the shop. This video is gonna get posted and then I'm gonna have another video later this week with the rest of the preparation, the loading, all the rest of the things we have to do on the car and then also our favorite part, the tires. So I wanted to end today's video by sharing with you guys some of the new gear that Pit Stop USA just sent me in the mail. It arrived here at our race shop in Southern Oregon. Now Pit Stop USA helped me in 2020 and we continued that partnership into 2021. So they have been supplying me with tons Tons of safety gear to wear in the cockpit to keep me safe during the season. And that is exactly what they specialize in. So if you'd like to check out Pit Stop USA, I will leave a link at the top of the description. They support me, so it'd be awesome if you support them. Like I said, they carry a ton of awesome products, so you definitely should check them out. So we have two items to open today. As you can see from this first one, a new Bell helmet. This is something I've been needing for the last couple of months as mine has absolutely taken a beating. So excited to open this thing up. There it is. Check that out. A beautiful white Bell RS7. This is one of Bell's most popular helmets. The one I had before was carbon. This one's gonna be white and I'm gonna have it painted. Or at least that's the game plan right now. And when I talked to my friends over there at Pit Stop USA, I made sure when you send me one, make sure you hook Carly up as well. So Carly also has a new helmet that she's gonna get painted. Now I figured I'd let her do the job of opening hers up. I believe hers is black, but like I said, it doesn't matter. If we both end up getting them painted, we're just gonna try to have a cool design that pops and you can see it when we're you know riding around in our race cars. Now the next item that they sent me was some new shoes because these are the shoes that I've been wearing. They've probably done about a hundred shows and I was still rocking them. I was getting all the life I could. 
I probably could have kept wearing them, but the main problem was these laces broke, so it was just really hard to get them tight. But overall, they did their job for what they were supposed to do. It's kind of crazy how hard we are on race shoes. So with that, we got a new red, white, and black pair of Alpine Star shoes. These things are sweet, and one thing I'm noticing is they got this little like sock more type material at the top which I think will be good, especially like in the outlaw carts, your feet almost get kind of cold because of where they ride. And I think that will kind of help maybe block some of that wind and um, kind of latch onto your leg, if that makes sense. But these things are beautiful. I'm definitely gonna be wearing them this weekend because well, you saw the shoes I was wearing. So Pit Stop USA, thank you so much to my viewers. If you'd like to check them out, as I mentioned, you just saw some of the safety gear that they sent me. They carry all that as well as many different brands. But stay tuned, we will have one more video on the channel this week talking about Fall Nationals, but I wanted to get this one out for all my fans in the Northern California area so they can come out and support us for one of our few races that we have left in 2021. I'm excited to get down there for Friday and Saturday, race against a lot of cars, race against some of my buddies, and once again, see a new track this season. So we will see you guys all there. Thank you so much for watching and riding along with us for my journey. Deuces.